Welcome back to 8701. So in this lecture, we want to write down the Feynman rules for QCD. A lot of work happened to get to this point. If you recall, uh, we derived Feynman rules for a toy theory. Uh, then we extended this to Q QED, quantum electrodynamics, introducing and keeping track of the spin of particles. And now in QCD, we have to do one step in addition. We have to keep track of the color of particles. So color, the charge of QCD plays a very important role here. Um, if we just investigate this fundamental process here, this fundamental vertex, um, which is very similar to a photon being radiated from an electron. Here we have a gluon being radiated from quarks. And when this happens, the quark changes its color. So here you have a quark with color blue and a quark with color red. The gluon adds a color, it adds red, but it also takes away the blue. So the quark itself basically carries two colors. It's bicolored, um, one color and at the same time an anti-color. The leading order process here uh, has two vertices and this is the scattering, for example, of two quarks with each other through a gluon. All right, so we have three kinds of charges, um, meaning that the quarks come in red, green, or blue. So we have to keep track of this when we write down our amplitudes, our matrix element. So we do this by just introducing a new vector. I call this C here, very simple, a three element vector uh, for those three colors. All right, but how about the gluon itself? So QCD is based on a symmetry group, which is called SU3. So it's basically a rotation in a three-dimensional space. There's eight independent uh, such rotations. Um, and what you want to think about is just moving, you know, quarks from one color state into the next. So you can write them down as I show here. Um, and we do this in linear combination of color and anti-color. All right. Um, if you want to keep track of this, we do this in this form. We have a vector which eight, eight, eight elements and, you know, the, the um, Gluon is one of those components. This is given here for this very first one. Okay, um, so let me introduce the notation here. Um, literally, we were introducing Pauli matrices, but not for SU2 as a symmetry group for, for SU3. They're called the Gell-Mann matrices and they're just written here. Again, those are the rotations I was just talking about. Those are the rotation from one color state into the next. There's commutator relations for this. Um, so if you have two of those scale man matrices and you try to write down the commutator, you find this is two times I times this structure functions, or structure constants times um, one, the next, well, the next um, gell -Mann matrix. So if you're just thinking about how many combinations are there, there's eight matrices. So we have eight times eight times eight combinations of those constants here. And so which means that there's about, there is 512 of those constants. Most of them are zero. And the ones which are not zero, they're listed here or combinations of those. All right. So now we, we are ready to just write down the QCD um, Feynman rules. Uh, again, we start from the external lines. So for the incoming quark or outgoing quark, we write our spinor and then we keep track of color, okay? We do this for quarks and we do this for anti-quarks in the very same way. For the gluon now, we have to keep our polarization, um, keep track of the polarization of the gluon and also of the color. And those are the vectors I was just, I just introduced on the previous slide. Okay, for the propagators, we have quarks and anti-quarks and gluons. Gluons are massless, so the propagator here looks very much like the one for the, for the um, uh, for, for the photon and the propagator for the quarks looks very much like the one we had for the electron and QED. The fundamental vertices, I introduced one already, but there's two more. Um, that's because the gluon carries charge and can couple to itself. We already discussed it in a recitation. So we have those self couplings of the gluon here and those vertices are, you know, as relevant or more relevant even than, than the one here. All right. So the vertices come with a vertex factor in our QC, in our Feynman rules. Again, for this very first one, we find a very similar one as we had before. You see here this, 
the scale man matrix and that just causes the rotation in color. Um, but we have this three gluon vertex and the four gluon vertex as well. And those come with structure functions here um, to keep track of the permutations, commutations between the between color involved. And it becomes more complicated for this four vertex, four gluon vertex, which has pairs of those structure constants each. All right, so that, that's all we need in order to calculate matrix elements or amplitudes for uh, QCD. The rest is just executing the Feynman rules as we did before for our toy theory and also for QED.